On October 29, 2018, Lion Air Flight 610, a Boeing 737 MAX 8, took off from Jakarta, Indonesia, destined for Pangkal, Penang. It was a typical morning, and the skies were clear. On board were 181 passengers and eight crew members, including families, business travelers, and crew members performing their daily duties. But just 13 minutes after takeoff, the plane plunged into the Java Sea, killing everyone on board. Hello everyone and welcome to Infinite Altitudes where we bring you everything about aviation. In this video, we bring you what happened with Lion Air Flight 610. What should have been a normal, routine, and yes, even boring flight turned into a terrible tragedy that need not have happened at all. Stay with us to find out how things went so horribly wrong. Flying truly is one of the safest ways to travel. People trust the process, technology, and all the people involved to keep them safe in the sky. But what if the systems meant to protect actually create the danger? At the heart of this tragedy was a series of malfunctions, human errors, and systemic issues that would soon reveal a flaw in one of the world's most advanced aircraft. The 737 MAX 8 was Boeing's newest addition, praised for its fuel efficiency and advanced technology. Yet, hidden within its systems was a critical software feature known as the Maneuvering Characteristics Augmentation System, MCAS designed to automatically adjust the plane's nose if it detected a potential stall. But on that fateful day, the MCAS system received faulty data from one single sensor, causing the plane's nose to be repeatedly pushed downward. The pilots, unaware of the system's function, unsuccessfully struggled to retain control. The crash would later lead to the grounding of the entire 737 MAX fleet. But the saddest thing is that this disaster could have been prevented. Upon further investigations, it became painfully clear that several key factors, if addressed earlier, could have averted the tragedy. Before the ill-fated flight, the very same plane had experienced similar issues on its previous flight from Bali to Jakarta. The pilots on that flight faced problems with the plane's automatic systems, but managed to land safely after turning off the MCAS system. This should have been a significant red flag. However, the issue was not properly documented and the essential repairs were not fully implemented. If the MCAS system had been thoroughly inspected and repaired after this incident, the fatal malfunction on Flight 610 might never have occurred. Are you still with us in this tragic story of Lion Air 610? We hope you will like this video and subscribe to our channel for more aviation content. One of the most shocking revelations was that many pilots, including those on Lion Air Flight 610, were not fully informed or trained on how to handle a malfunctioning MCAS system. Boeing had introduced this new system as part of the 737 MAX's design, but it was not adequately covered in pilot training programs. The assumption was that the pilots wouldn't need to know the specifics because the system was supposed to work seamlessly in the background. Unfortunately, this lack of training left the crew unprepared to deal with the crisis. If proper training had been provided, the pilots might have recognized the issue and taken the necessary steps to disable the faulty system in time. The aviation industry has increasingly relied on automated systems to enhance safety, but Flight 610 showed the dangers of this trend when human oversight is minimized. The MCAS system was designed to act automatically, but when it received incorrect data, it led to catastrophic results. Pilots were trained to trust these systems, yet when the system failed, the pilots found themselves in a life-and-death struggle with technology they didn't fully understand. A more balanced approach, with pilots being better equipped to intervene, could have prevented the crash. Another critical flaw in the design of the MCAS system was its reliance on a single angle of attack sensor. This meant that if the sensor malfunctioned, as it did on Flight 610, the system would act on incorrect data, leading to the disastrous nose-down commands. If Boeing had designed the system to take inputs from multiple sensors or built in more robust safeguards, the erroneous readings might have been caught and the MCAS would not have activated incorrectly. Before we move on to the next key factor, please like this video and subscribe to our channel for more aviation content. The role of aviation regulators also came under scrutiny following the crash. The Federal Aviation Administration, FAA, 
had allowed Boeing to certify much of the 737 MAX's safety features, including the MCAS system. This self-certification process was criticized for being too lenient and for not catching the potential dangers of the system. A more rigorous regulatory review could have identified the risks associated with the MCAS before the plane was ever allowed to fly. The tragedy could have been prevented with better communication between Boeing, airlines, and pilots. After the crash, it was revealed that some within Boeing were aware of the potential issues with the MCAS system, but incredibly, did not communicate these concerns clearly or urgently. This lack of communication meant that airlines and pilots were flying with incomplete information about the risks involved. The crash of Lion Air Flight 610 was a tragic reminder that in aviation, safety must always come first. While technology can improve efficiency and performance, it must be paired with thorough training, clear communication, and vigilant oversight. The lessons learned from this disaster have led to changes in how new aircraft systems are designed, tested, and implemented. Yet, the question remains, how many lives could have been saved if these lessons had been learned earlier? That's all for today, folks. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to leave a comment below and subscribe to the channel for more on aviation.